Hi, I'm John with DMC. Today I'll be showing you how to use our pneumatic wire strippers, the WSP1630, WSP1014, and WSP1626E. These pneumatic wire strippers are lightweight, portable, reliable, and simple to operate. They're compatible with industry standard strip master blades and accessories. The tools have fast actuation, prepping wires at a rate that is unattainable with manual wire strippers. These tools have a rotatable head that allows for the most comfortable left or right-handed operation. Adjustable speed control allows for the operator to regulate the speed of the tool by simply rotating the adjustment collar, which is part of the air hose. The included wire stop allows for the operator to control the wire stripping length. The WSP, FSA, bench mount, and foot pedal can be utilized for high production environments. It is important to remember that just because a blade is marked with a particular wire size does not mean that it is meant for your wire type. This is because of differences in the construction of the insulation. Please use our AS5768 cross-reference chart and our catalog to find the appropriate blade for your wire type. The WSP1630 will strip 30 through 16 gauge wire and it accommodates custom strip master die type blades. It's supplied with the L5211 blade. The WSP1626 will strip 26 through 16 gauge wire it accommodates all Ergo Elite Stripmaster laminated type blades and is supplied with the 55 5560 blade. The WSP 1014 will strip 14 through 10 gauge wire and it accommodates custom Stripmaster die type blades. It's supplied with a 45 1611 1 blade. To prepare your tool for use, connect the wire stripper to standard chop air between 80 and 120 psi. Determine the length of insulation to be removed and set the wire stop. Insert the wire into the cavity marked with the corresponding wire size, press the trigger to strip the wire, and release the trigger to reset the tool. DMC's WSP strippers accommodate a variety of blades. To change the blade on your tool, depress the activating lever, and with the carrier extended, disconnect the unit from the air supply. Remove the wire stop, Then remove the post and screw holding the guide plate and stationary blade. Remove the guide plate and stationary blade. Rotate the movable blade so the tang comes out of the activating link, then remove. Reassemble the replacement blades by reversing the steps. Replace the screw and wire stop post holding the guide plate and stationary blade. Do not over tighten. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please check out our social media links below.